been in touch with the guys from Universal Audio for a while. I've been using the Apollo Twin Mark II for years, and well, as you can see, I've had a bit of an upgrade in the new studio space, so thank you to Universal Audio for providing this awesome gear to help me bring you awesome content. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about how I'm going to use the aux, and then maybe you can figure out if you're interested in getting one, there's a link down below if you wanna check out the specs and all that good stuff, but I'm basically gonna run through how I'm gonna use it in my studio. So in layman's terms, what the aux does on the surface is it takes a really loud amp, like this Paragon from Bullhead, and it attenuates the signal into a manageable load. And what that means is you don't have to blow your eardrums out in order to get the sweet spot of the amp. You can just dial it in, it goes through the aux into my Apollo X8P interface, and then comes out in very reasonable decibel levels, yet maintains the purity of that color from a tube amp that you get when you crank it up. But any attenuator or load box can really fit that criteria. The difference between those boxes and the aux is that we have some awesome speaker emulation and mic simulation to go along with that load bearing capability. And basically I would plug an amp like this into a 412. So as you can see, I have a 412 greenback style speaker set up and I have my choice of different microphones. As you can see, there's a plethora of different mics you can choose and different placements and things like that. So let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> That sounds pretty nice. How about a little bit of lead work? <laughs> Equally lovely. How about another iteration of this guitar sound. So all that, just by switching pickups, didn't even touch the cab simulation, which we will do now and you can see how it can either complement the head, you know, a more traditional big head like this, a boutique sound is complemented well by a 412, but experimenting is part of the fun with technology like this, especially when it's so easy. In real life, I would have to switch mic positions and actually own different mics and spend a lot of time moving cabs around and actually own different cabs. But with this, as you can see, I'm just gonna flip over to a completely different sounding cab, a 50s tweed. Let's see how this sounds. So as you can see, you don't even necessarily need more than one amp head to drastically change your sound. That was a real vintagey cab and yet a pretty modern sounding boutique head. And you can still dial in different vibes and different atmospheres, ambiances. Speaking of ambiance, you can change the room sound. As you can see, I can make a manual adjustment here. It'll adjust the fader. You can also switch out the room mics if you want to. As far as the actual controls, obviously everything is controllable through the aux as well manually, or you can use the app, but the rig setting just allows for six presets. Say if you wanted to go gig and you wanted to save six presets, but didn't want to deal with the app, you could just have your presets for different room sounds and mic combinations and cap setups here. But the real treasure trove is this room knob 
where you can dial in the actual studio room ambiance of whatever preset that you have dialed in. So, for example, this would be not a lot of room ambience. span a huge gambit. switch to another amp, shall we? Obviously this isn't limited to just heavier sounds and amp heads, we can go with clean sounds and combos too. So for me, as somebody who works a lot in a studio environment, the aux is not just a huge time saver. It allows you to forego a lot of the rigmarole of setting things up and breaking things down and spending a lot of time trying to get the sound just right. The sound is always just right. So that is part of the beauty of the aux and what makes me so excited to continue to experiment with it. I'm gonna be making a lot of future videos that utilize this device, merely just an appetizer of what this amazing thing can do, but I highly encourage you to check out the link down below if any of this has seemed useful to you in your operation, or if you're just looking for some new creative inspiration. I mean, whether you're in a bedroom or an apartment where you have a loud amp but you can't crank it up, that's what the aux is for. Or if you're in a studio where you can make tons of noise, but don't wanna have to deal with the hassle of setting things up, breaking things down, and still seek world-class room sounds and mic sounds and cab sounds, well, the aux can help you there too. So thanks again to Universal Audio for hooking me up with the aux. And until next time, keep shredding.